Hello everyone, my name is Parag and welcome you all in my new video. In this video, I am talking about some numerical problem of the working stress method. So let's start. Here, first I have to uh, some discuss some assumption of the working stress method like uh, plane section remain plane before bending and after bending also. These are the first assumption. Concrete in tension zone is ignored during the analysis of the beam is the another uh, assumption of the working stress method. Obey Hooke's law, so the stress strain relationship of the steel and concrete will be straight line under the working load. This is the third relation. Steel and concrete form a comp comp uh, composite structure. Okay, now there are some symbols which represent the some design uh, steps. Uh, these are sorry, not the steps by mistaken. These are the symbols used in a RC, used in a RCC WSM method. So it is the sigma CBC, sigma ST. Sigma SC, Sigma Y, Sigma SCKS, ST, ASC, M, ECC, and ECCC. Sigma CBC is allowable stress in a concrete. Sigma ST is allowable stress in a steel. Sigma SC is the allowable stress in a steel in bending, in compression, and this in a tension. Sigma Y characteristic strength of the steel. Sigma CK is a character strength of concrete. AST is a steel in tension. A SC is a in a compression steel. Uh, then uh, M is a model ratio which is given by 280 upon 3 into sigma CBC. ECC is a effective clear concrete cover and CCC is a clear concrete cover. You have to know. You have to remember this notification. These are the symbols for the WSM method RCC working. Now let's go to the problem. Here we have the first problem. The cross section of a singly reinforced concrete beam is 300 mm wide and 500 mm depth. 300 mm wide and 500 mm depth to the center of the tension reinforced, which consists of the four bars of 16 mm diameter. So it is an effective distance. Okay, 300 mm this one and 500 depth to the center of the tension reinforcement to up to this one only. Okay, up to this one. So it is effective. If it is tell the overall depth, so it is total depth. Okay, now. And it consisting of 16 di 16 mm diameter. Okay, of four four bar 16 mm diameter. If the stress in a concrete and the steel are not exceed 7 newton per mm square and 140 newton per mm square respectively, determine the movement of resistance of the beam. Take modular ratio equals to 13.33. We have to determine the movement of MR. We have to determine. So first of all, we have to determine the uh, that means uh, all the value. We have to be 300 wide of beam. D is a 500 because it given as effect to depth up to the only center of the steel reinforcement. Number of four bar are providing of the 16 mm diameter. So we are defined by the phi. AST we have to determine what are the total area of the steel is provided in this concrete beam is determined by number of bar we are providing multiplied by pi by 4 into d square. So four bar we are providing pi by 4 multiplied by 16 square which is this one in the mm square 804 mm square area of steel we are providing in this concrete section sigma cbc is a 7 newton per mm square and the sigma s is 140 newton per mm square is given and modular ratio is given so this is a given data based upon this uh, diagrammatic representation let me tell you one thing that this is depth depth of the neutral axis okay this is what sigma cbc and this is sigma c sc by m Okay, this is the D minus NC. Okay, this is NC depth of neutral axis. So this is total effective depth minus NC. So we get this distance also. Okay, now coming toward the determination of the neutral axis. First of all, you have to determine the neutral axis of the particular beam. So it can be calculated by this formula: B into n square upon Z equals to uh, M into AST multiplied by D by two. Okay, you have to put all the formula: 300 multiplied by. Sorry, this is not this two, not Z. 300 multiplied by n square by 2 equals to 13.33 multiplied by 804 multiplied by 500 minus n. Okay, so this n can be calculated by putting in your calculator. So you got the n. Okay, after getting the n, there is one equation. Uh, this is the n value 156.mm. Uh, mm. Another value of n is minus of 228.07. This is the quadratic equation x square minus x square plus uh, x plus something value this is quadratic equation we got from the quadratic equation we solve the and uh, so we got one negative value we get positive value obviously the depth of neutral axis never be negative so it is always positive we get the value 156.63 okay now proceed for the next uh, portion to determine the critical depth of the neutral axis so it is defined by the k into d okay so k is a 0 0.4 and depth is a 500 so k is determined by m upon m plus r where r is given by sigma st upon sigma cbc 
okay put all the value you got the critical depth of the neutral axis is 0.4 now we are comparing the depth of neutral axis and the critical depth of neutral axis when we are comparing both the situation at that time we got that the n equals to n the our depth of neutral axis is lesser than the critical depth of the neutral axis so our reinforcement section our beam is the under reinforced section so the determination of the moment of ratio is mr moment of resistance is by given this formula for the under reinforced section is mr equals to sigma st into st d minus n by 3 okay you have to put all the value then you got the mr as a 15.4 kN into meter okay so likewise friend you can calculate the moment of ratio of the working stress method by using the this step so hope you like my video please like my channel please like my this video and please subscribe my channel and keep visiting my website i am going to uh, create one new channel inspire word i'll be giving that link in the description after some time so keep watching keep learning and please subscribe don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you bye bye you okay this one